if you are a U.S. men's national team player or a U.S. women's national team player, and you are playing in Europe, this mostly applies to U.S. men's national team players, and you are playing in Europe, and you are allowed to go and play in this game, that is not a good thing. And this is not a good thing for Serginho Dest. As much as I like to watch him play and as much as he helps the team, this is not good that his team is saying, yeah, um, we have no use for you here. It's not a FIFA window, so we don't have to release you. And, yes, we will drive you to the airport so you can go and play. Given what you just said, I question why even call him up. There are no other European-based players. You still have an interim coach. And it just shines a light on how, how bad his situation is. It's almost embarrassing for him to get on a plane and fly here to play in this one friendly. So I actually thought this was unnecessary on Anthony Hudson's part. Okay, so that is unnecessary. And as we go through this, uh, Matt Miazga back in the fold, Shaq Moore, uh, Julian Gressel, uh, who has a couple of caps, Caleb Wiley, uh, no caps, so he gets his first opportunity, and we were talking about that opportunity. And then Joshua Winder. Uh, 17 years old, playing for uh, Louisville City, although he's going to go on to bigger and better things, but being called in as a USL uh, player. So I understand what you said about Serginho Dest. Why even call him in? Why call someone like Joshua Winder in? He's 17 years old. I think Anthony Hudson actually has one eye on the Under-20 World Cup, which is okay. coming up, which is on Fox Sports. So he's trying to use this friendly to give uh, some of these players uh, some pretty good experience that before cheapen, that tournament. Doesn't that cheapen the, the call-up to the full national team? I mean, shouldn't you have done something before? Again, we talked about this before. We live in an age where we actually have leagues, multiple leagues. I mean, he, he plays right now for, uh, for Louisville. Multiple leagues where we can assess players and where they can do things that merit – uh, the call up to the national team. So, th- I, I mean, he might be a, a, a great player and he may become a great player. But, and we saw this with the, uh, I can't remember his name, the uh, the center back for the Los Angeles Galaxy. Oh, Jalen Neal. There you go, Jalen Neal. It, it does feel a little yucky to me to kind of gift and give this opportunity so easily. And it, it does, I think, cheapen the call up. You like that clip? Well, my State of the Union podcast drops every week. Subscribe now on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts. You like that clip? Well, my State of the Union podcast drops twice a week right here on my very own YouTube page. The only way to stay up to date is to hit that subscribe button down below. Size the day and see you soon.